Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sai F1.5 Championship We're today for the NH Let's say to the Canadian Grand Prix Jamo launches the pole position followed by Blake Protections Gilly Lalak in the uh, P5 Then we have uh, Nico MGS Zora in P8 And then the F1 drivers of course behind Sven Nidam, uh, Nitho Jan, Jacob Adamzak and Zingy Ready? Hold. Go! Who's going to get it off the line? Both the Awataris make the start. And who's going to get it? I don't know. Blake has the outside line. I think they're going to get it. No, no. Jamo fights back through. Blake yields, lets him go. That's the arse on the inside. Lollet trying to fight MGS right there as well. Great start from MGS making their way up. Nico and Zora both. Not doing uh, so well on the start. A bit of contact with the wall. Goes the Ferrari as they have the Red Bull on their inside. And the other half of Zingy has somehow already got up there. But there's a mistake and there's a big crash. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not what we want to see. MGS has managed to save it. But Nifo, uh, Lalak, I should say, not so much, unfortunately. As they go down the straight. He has the inside line. Does he have the advantage? It's going to be side by side. Oh, they have to... Back out, and that's Jacob Adamjack into the wall. Oh, really, really squirmy on the exit for the Ferrari. That's going to allow the Alpine to catch back up. It depends who is faster on the straights on raw pace and setup, of course, because there's no DRS just yet. Are they really going to try and make it get side by side? They are. What's Nico doing? It's not worked at all. I don't know what they were thinking about that one, trying to go side by side into the final chicane. Both the Alpha Tarries. What, what on earth has happened? Both the Alpha Tarries are down the order. Have they come together? We've got Gilly leading the way. And Nifo with extreme advantage on pace on the straight line here. Going to go for the move on the Ferrari. The Ferrari doesn't actually need to fight it here. Uh, they do need to fight Blake, however. So Nifo being in between these guys and maybe going ahead will uh, allow them to get in a train. Blake's going to have a little bit of a hard time, especially when it comes to overtaking on the straights. Nifo... Putting his nose on the inside line has to go very tight into turn one and almost cut the corner. Maybe even got a warning for that one. Uh, but no, that's protections. Protections is round. He's nice and close this time. Can he get a good enough exit? That's the question. It's minimal, but he's going to have a look and he does have it on the brakes. Will uh, Gilly yield? Is he going to try and fight it? He is and here comes Blake on the inside. What an opportunity, but it didn't work. He might have an idea here as these guys make it very, very difficult for one another to actually have a go. Will Blake find a way through? And that's JMO retiring from the session and that is a safety car and this time though zingy's got a nice run he's gonna have a look to the inside goes defensive to sven but it's too late just a bit of pressure for zingy but i don't think he's gonna be in too much of a good position we don't really want to make a move at this corner now zingy is gonna try and spot a good exit on the chicane it's not bad it's not bad. The DRS will be there. Is he going to have a look? He catches, he catches, he catches. Sven goes slightly defensive. He sticks his nose in. He's just about there. But Sven closes the door as Zingy backs out. Fair enough to them. Fair enough. Will Zingy be able to get a good exit? We'll watch on board. He's close enough. He will be good enough to get an exit. Get a, get a move onto the inside. Forces his way through. As Sven tried to defend. Minimum space is left. Sven comes onto the track way ahead as he cuts the corner and gets himself a three second. The tyres are going to be faster. They're going to get a lovely exit. DRS available. No ERS. It's a drag race for Gilly. We know Gilly's very quick in a straight line, but they will take it and uh, gets the fastest lap, does Zingy. He's pushing on. Nifo is nice and close to Sven. He's gained on that lap. We knew he was close, of course, already. He's going to get the DRS and he's going to have a look at the move. Sven goes to the inside line. Nifo has the advantage. Almost contact. He's going to have to back out of the corner there. Nifo will once again lead the race. They're going to get the DRS as well and pull away. They will. Lovely stuff. Zingy loving this clean air right now. 
He is escaping his teammate. He is catching uh, Blake, of course, as well. Uh, in the meantime, Sven doesn't have any problems, doesn't have any battles that he has to do. He didn't have to try and get past his teammate. Um, of course, he's staying out, and it does seem that he is going to try and go for a set of soft tyres. But it's either this lap or the next one. It's this lap, as uh, I definitely correctly calculated. Into the pit lane they go. E-I-E-I-E-I-O. There's the Mercedes pit crew waiting with that red wall tyre. Look at that time that he gains into the hairpin. That was absolutely amazing. A purple sector. DRS would be available. He's going to catch a lot here. Gilly might have to go defensive, actually. No, it's way too late to actually uh, go for a move. Just needs to secure a good exit. And he will. No question about it. There's no fighting for Gilly here. Unless it's on the straights, of course. The traction is just too severe. And he's going to back out. Let this guy go. Not going to worry about it. Lap 33 of the 35. Nifo has started. He actually started that probably a year ago. Because uh, he's so far ahead. Uh, doing an amazing job. Zingy will catch back up because of that little correction that Blake had to make. And he's going to be on that DRS straight closer than ever. The closer you get, the more powerful the DRS. He's going to be able to pressure Blake and he will get it on the brakes. Very, very lovely stuff indeed. He had the overspeed, so he made it work. Nifo comes across the line to win the Canadian Grand Prix. They've done a little bit of a wheel burn there. Lovely stuff. Blake wins for the NA drivers. And I believe that might put him in the championship lead. Is Protection's going to be able to challenge on the final few corners? Lalit will take that P6. That is a P3 for the NA drivers in the end. This is for P4 and 5. Nico's going to take it anyway on time penalties. It's nice and close at the end, though. Well done to these guys. And that was the Grand Prix. Nifo takes the win. Blake P2, followed by Svernaydon with a fastest lap in P3. Zingy into P4. Then we had Gilly in P5. Lala Kim P6, Nico and Protections finishing off the grid. Then we have Zora DNFing followed by JMO MGS and Jacob Adam Jack earlier on on lap one actually.